So this is take two. So let's hopefully we get it right this time. All right. So I'm going to talk about my fall, but October, September, um, favorites. So I got to just mostly skincare here, but I do have a few makeup items. So, but we're going to start with hair care first, actually. And the first thing is this IGK Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. This has replaced my shampoo, or not my shampoo. This has replaced my conditioner. Um, literally, um, I take a shower. I let my hair air dry um, until it's no longer like dripping and wet and when it's kind of damp. And then I put it in and my hair feels amazing and I don't ever have that heavy weighted feel like some conditioners leave on your hair. So it's amazing. I definitely think it's worth it. I got it in my Boxy Lux, I think, in September and I've been using it ever since. So for skincare, three items that I have been loving are from the L'Oreal Revitalift line. Um, I received these from Influencer and oh my god, let me tell you, this um, right here, which is 10% pure glycolic acid, has changed my life and my skin. One, I have had way less breakouts, and two, I have had the texture of my skin has been amazing. So definitely, out of the three items, this is the one that I would definitely um, recommend. Now, I love both of these. So this is a fragrance-free moisturizer, and it's great, but it's a little heavy for my skin for daytime, so I use it um, at night. However, with the season change, I think I may implement just a little bit of it during the day, but it is a thicker, more, um, a more thicker consistency, so it is best for night for my skin. Um, and then this is a sunscreen moisturizer, and I don't have any problems with it. It's great. It's not a bad one. However, I don't particularly like chemical sunscreens. I like more mineral sunscreens, but because I do balance my other items with a mineral sunscreen it doesn't bother me to use that so I do really like it so it is one of my favorite things to use um, especially during um, when I'm gonna have makeup on because then it helps prevent flashback um, the other like two holy grails I will never ever not be able to use these is the 43 beauty turmeric face milk and the 43 beauty uh, niacinamide um, serum this has improve the texture of my skin tenfold. Not that I had a lot of texture on my skin, but this has changed it so much and is, um, it used to be an everyday when I first got it because I was learning how to use it. Then I could cut it down to a couple of weeks. Um, but I'm going to, with the weather change, um, back to daily. So I'll have to buy a new one soon. This is, um, advertised to be able to use as like a primer, I don't use it that way, but I love the brightening effect that it gives to my skin. It is beautiful and it helps with my under eye circles. Last two skincare items. Um, first is the pineapple bright or bright pineapple sea bright serum from Glow Recipe. Now I will tell you, I am not a fan of the scent. It is a too sweet kind of a rotten scent, um, which. For some people, they they can tolerate that scent. Like it's actually enjoyable from them. But for me, it's a it's not. So like it does smell like pineapple, but for me, it goes on the edge of too too much. So it's not my favorite. The scent isn't my favorite, but the product in and of itself is amazing and has become my holy grail vitamin C. And the last skincare item is the Dr. Brandt Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask. And this I also got in a boxy charm. And it is amazing. I put it on very last step. You don't have to wash it off. And that's one of my favorite things about it is that there's no washing it off. Um, and you can literally use as much as you wanted to. But you wake up with baby soft, plump skin. It is so good. I can't get enough of it. I highly recommend it. Okay, so let's get into makeup. So first things first is this Too Faced Born This Way multi cult multi-use sculpting concealer now I didn't get it when it first launched but I really really wanted it and I had high hopes for it I am wearing it today and yes I do have creasing but that has nothing to do with the actual concealer itself it has to do with the eye cream in which I am using right now 
So don't take that. Like literally it's the eye cream. I was using another one like two weeks ago. But I ran out of that one. I need to pick up a new jar. But when I was using it, like literally my under eyes was flawless. So there is a learning curve with this. And it's not like most concealers where you can just slap it on and then pat it out and then go. This you want to put on, spread it out to where you want it to reach. And then give it like 30 seconds, 45 seconds to um, heat up with your skin and melt in a little bit. And then pat it out and you will get like the most flawless under eye. So that's my recommendation for that. I love it. It's amazing. Can't get enough. The next is this Voluminous Primer by L'Oreal. Now, never thought that I'd really be into lash primers because I have pretty decent lashes and that was never really my thing. However, this is amazing and it makes um, mascaras that I'm not particularly fond of look 100% better. So definitely recommend this. I like to put on a coat and then let it dry before I put on my mascara. The next is um, the Lash Princess False Effect. False Lash Effect Mascara by Essence. Now this isn't by no means new. Same with like this. They're not new products. But they're new to me. And ever since I got this, this is... I gravitate towards this one way more than I gravitate towards any other mascaras. So absolutely love it. So the next few items are newer releases. However, ever since I got them, I haven't stopped using them. Which means a lot because for me trying to keep up with everybody and getting everything the newest and greatest for me to want to keep going back to products that is super amazing so that's what this is I keep going back and back and back to this so um the first one is the Zuma ultra Botted lip from Colourpop it is part of their X's and O's collection that is at Ulta I love this it has just enough pigment to make me feel like I'm put together even on a no makeup day but it doesn't overwhelm and it's it is drying but not too bad um the next two items are also from that same collection and it is the blush in growth flirt which is a super shocked cheek and then this is um the highlighter called guilty pleasure i can't get enough of these they are just like the perfect uh, blush and highlighter. Um, I got my mom on the highlighter. I tried to get it for my sister, but it was sold out. Just trust me, if you find it in your Ulta, pick it up. Last but not least, and like literally probably my favorite makeup item out of this whole thing, is the Midnight Masquerade Palette by Disney and Colourpop. It is so stunning. Sorry for the glare, but it is so stunning, and I keep using it. The one thing that I, it's not that I'm not a huge fan of, but I kind of wish they would have gone in a kind of a different direction, is the glitters. I wish they would have made them perfectly more eye safe because they are chunky. I don't know if you can see that, but they are chunky, and I wear contacts. It makes it hard for me to want to wear them because I don't want them getting in my eye and then getting underneath my contacts and scratching my eyes. So like ultimately that's the only thing I have about this. So this palette has literally become my favorite. Like everything besides those two, which I will eventually use. I'll figure out the best way to use them. And if that be um, using a glitter glue, then that's the case. Um, generally with their glitters, you don't have to. It has a good enough base to where you don't need to, but to ensure no fallout, I may do that. So this is ultimately my favorite palette at the moment. However, there's all new sorts of new ones that I've gotten for my birthday. So who knows by next month they may change. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. If you want to be notified every time I upload, please hit the notification bell. And I will see you in my next one.